Hi there, I'm Brad and I'm about to show you some weird stuff I've gotten in the mail recently. First of all is this thing here from Nick Caesar and it's a secure exam remote proctor and I was afraid of this thing when I opened it. I thought it was some sort of a medical device that I might not want to touch because I don't know, it says proctor in it, but um, and then after seeing it, uh, just just hold on. So he sent me uh, artwork. He's, he's always sending me awesome artwork that he did. I think these are the originals that he drew. He draws them on paper first and then he um, then he colors them on the computer. So I've got tons of this stuff. I, I should just sell it for billions of dollars. Original Nick Caesar art. It's pretty cool stuff. But yeah this proctor device. I seriously thought this was like some sort of a butt device, like a, a medical thing. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't want to touch this. I was Googling it uh, before I, um, you know, before I, I took it out of the box and had a look at it. But is what it is, it's a, it's a, like it says in the box, it's, it's an exam device for people who are homeschooled. Uh, like, so they put this thing in here, like that, and uh, you can probably see my reflection in that little mirror ball thing, maybe, probably not. Uh, but what it is, is there's a camera right here, it points straight up at the ball, and I guess it makes a 360 degree image on this thing. Uh, and it's to discourage cheating. It's also got microphones built in, and it has a, one of those old-timey fingerprint reader things that you see on laptops sometimes. Focus, focus. So I guess the idea is, um, you know, if you're homeschooled uh, and you take exams, you can plug this in. Stop. Do not plug this device in yet. First you have to install the software. Um, so I don't know, if I plug this in, is it going to be just a regular webcam? Or is it going to be a webcam and a fingerprint reader? That'd be kind of cool. Um, I sure have the desk space for it now. I just put this together today. Put an extension on my desk. So I have more desk space. We'll get to that in a moment, though. Uh, and yeah, he sent me, like, buttons. He sent me these uh, things for this um, book that he illustrated. My phone never, oh there it goes, there it goes. Unconditionally Me, written by Stacy Goodwin, illustrated by Nicholas Caesar, available on Amazon. I suggest everyone go to Amazon.com right now and look for Unconditionally Me. Um, and I got buttons, make America weird again. And oh yeah, I haven't, I haven't looked at this yet, but I, I got a DVR party. Rare movies, cartoons, 3D trailers, and more. Adults only. That looks fun. Um, so yeah, thank you, Nicholas Caesar. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do with a an exam device, but who knows? Maybe the the live PLA shows are going to start having um, you know 360 degree video on YouTube. Probably not, but you never know. All right. What else did I get? I got a bottle of Stick It with Mr. Biggs. Stick It. Uh, it's a bottle of glue. Um, it's just a bottle of Elmer's glue, and I guess he peeled off the labels, and he printed these professional-looking shiny labels to put in their place, and it's about the coolest-looking thing ever. I'm sure my camera is not focusing in on that tiny print, but it's got his URL in there, and it says it's a podcast about glues and adhesives, and I love this thing. I'm going to be sticking it up here. I'm going to stick it. Stick it. Doo -doo -doo. Crap. Up there forever. Goes with all my, my stuff. And um, he also sent me some, uh, a, a wet wipe from Whizbangs, where the party, where the fun never ends and the party's never ending. I really need to get a new phone that, that focuses better. Oh yeah, Brad, not a condom from Mr. Biggs. Thanks, Mr. Biggs. That'll probably come in really useful someday. Okay, next thing is this. It's um, it, it's really sketchy looking. 
<laughs> uh, it came from another country. Uh, but yeah, uh, it, it's I don't you can't really see it. Uh, it. It's like a cookie box. It's got like cookies. It's like they're trying to trick customs or something by by having cookies. But um, this is from Raj. Thank you, Raj. Uh, when I opened it up, there was a bunch of bubble wrap and stuff. Um, no cookies. It was very disappointing. But there's an instruction manual and some stuff I haven't fully looked over yet. But the crazy thing that was in this box was uh, this. <laughs> it's a PLA clock. So I had this crazy idea a few years ago. Man, just wait till you guys see the, the detail on this thing. Um, so I, I made a website. In fact, here, I'm going to go to the website right now. The Prank Call Nation Prank Victim Talking Clock. It's before we had invented the word um, recipient. And this, this whole thing's completely broken. There used to be a flash clock down here. Actually, wait, why am I even going here? You can't do anything on it. It's completely broken. All right, yeah, that, that's pointless. Phonelosers.com slash clock. It works better if you're not on Chrome, I think. Uh, but the idea was that every <laughs> every so often it, it was a talking clock, but it would announce the time. At 3 o'clock in the morning, you're asking me this? Using uh, voices of people saying things like, do you have any idea what time it is? Or, or you know, it's 12 fucking 30 in the morning. What are you calling me for? And I always said, yeah, somebody needs to make a, a, an app for that, you know, like an Android app. And uh, Raj, he, he went like a, a step further, and he, he developed an entire, an entire product here. Um, I, I forget what the instructions, the, the manual or whatever says. The manual that has like PLA logos and stuff on it uh, tells me how to use it. Um, I, I'm sure it's like a Raspberry Pi or something similar, but okay, check this out. There is a logo. That's not a sticker. That is, that is a part of the plastic. It's, I don't know, screen printed, laser etched, something. It's pretty amazing. Uh, there's like a knob on the side. It turns. Look at those <laughs> labels. Um, in the back uh, it has, oh, okay, yeah, here we go. Let's see if I can zoom in on this. I'll tell you what it says. It says, designed in Roy, New Mexico. Manufactured in blah, 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 some other country. For more details, visit phonelosers.org. To buy one, email us on... Um, 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 it's, a, it's a Gmail address. Uh, I assume he wants this given out. Uh, footprint279 at gmail.com. Uh, there's a warranty void if given snake eye. Ah, oh, man. I, I may just have to take still photographs of this and put it into the video, but warranty void if given the snake eye. Um, there's a micro SD slot, there's specific instructions, there's apparently a DTMF decoder on this. Um, I just plugged the input into this and uh, I'm sorry Ryan Jardina, I, I love your DTMF decoder that's up there above my monitor and I will continue to use your DTMF decoder forever. Um, this guy is trying to, trying to make you obsolete, though, by including one on this crazy device. Oh, yeah, another label. QC, passed by Lieutenant Tuck Pendleton. Everything is A-OK. -okay. Green lights across the board. I'll probably put a photo in there of that. Um, so, yeah, that's just the outside. <laughs> there, there's these labels. Um, power... Like, like, they are so professionally printed. It's, like, all shiny. These aren't stickers. These are, well, I mean, I guess they're technically stickers. But, um, you know, power, 5 volts, 2 amps. I think I plugged it into a 1 amp connector, and it didn't break. Um, do not connect to this one. A, a big warning. Do not connect this one for fir firmware updates only. And then uh, he conveniently told me that this is a USB jack. Um, it has some sort of a serial number with PLA in it. PLA, CLK, phonelosers.org. 
I don't know. I'm, I'm just amazed at the attention to detail on this thing. So let me plug this into the power. And we're going to turn this thing on. Uh, volume. I don't know. It's pretty loud. Um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to hear it okay. I have not plugged this into a computer yet. This is just a power bank over here. Ugh. All right. This is how it boots up. Welcome to the botnet. We love you. It says on the bottom, the happiest place in rural New Mexico, Cact OS, Cact OS uh, 1.1.4. Man, my stupid phone. This doesn't record that well. Uh, this is the first time I've noticed the little green power light there, kind of behind this whole thing. Um, the main thing here, uh, it's, you know, PLA clock, settings, music player. What happens if I hit an arrow? He gave me a stylus, and he told me to be ver very careful with the screen. Uh, we've got a DTMF encoder, a DTMF decoder, an alarm... And a red box, a green box, a silver box. This is the first time I'm seeing all this stuff. Credits, blue box, prank directory, what? what the hell is this? And then we're back to settings. Alright, so PLA clock. Aw oh, man, I, I hate that you guys can't see this that well. And I don't know how to get it to announce the time other than to, um... Because, you know, people only angrily announce the time when it's, uh, you know, like, after midnight, usually, or 10.30, or... Can I click that? Can I push the clock? I'm being careful, Raj. Uh, I can't push the clock. What if I hit the alarm? Oh, no, that's just to set an alarm. DTMF decoder. Oh, man, I left the screen now. Yeah, I wish I wish there was a way to just make it do a, a random one. Uh, there is this knob on the side. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I think I remember. No. <laughs> the snooze bar just brings up the menu. I'm probably doing this wrong. I, I got this thing like over a month ago. I haven't spent any time messing around with it. Oh, no. Well, no, I can't do that, sir. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, it's okay. I'm calling from the corporate office. So I think he has this, this thing loaded up with just a, a ton of PLA sounds. And each time you turn the knob... When you find the door knob, bend over and shove it up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Do not touch my roof. I'm not smelling poop. <laughs> I could just turn this knob. I did not take trash bags out of the thing to smell dog poop. I think you're crazy. I could just turn this all day. Um, but I can call him Mlem 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 no. Mlem Mlem no. So yeah, um, this is pretty amazing, Raj. Thank you so much. Uh, it's definitely going to have a place on my shelf over there somewhere. Or, or I'm, I'm getting ready, like, I just moved things today. I scooted that monitor over there. It used to be, like, right there. Uh, I need to find a shelf here, like, from Goodwill or something. I want to find just a weird-looking old antique shelf thing to put there in the middle. Maybe I'll put the clock up there. Uh, but thank you so much. This is, like, holy crap. There's so much... <laughs> it was made with, with such love, you know? Um... Uh, I've got a note that says, be gentle with the LCD. Uh, I've got another post-it here that says, just updated software due to a major code library bug. If this something let me know, I'll send you a software update. The time is 3.50. 3.50. It just announced the time in a robot voice. Okay, so that's really cool. I mean, that sounds annoying if it's going to do that every 10 minutes. Um, but that's cool. That's a good idea. Like, when, when there's not a time that people are angrily 
announcing, like, what are you calling me at 2 fucking 30 in the morning for? It can, uh, it just, it just does the robot voice. Oh, look, there's my stylus. He gave me a stylus with it. Is that like a, is that like a, a DSi stylus or something? Um, I don't think I can open this manual. <laughs> PLA clock user guide. Like, he, he just, this is insane. All this, all this stuff he did. He just goes on and on. Shows how it's all wired up inside, I guess. Yeah, th this is really cool, Raj. Thank you so much for this clock. Um, all right. Put all this stuff over here. We've got more to, to look at here. Here, I'll, I'll just stick this right over here for now and just sit on my desk. Um, oh yeah, Richard, he sent me a Phone Losers of America embroidered hat. I guess he does embroidering. He's got an embroidering machine. So uh, it's like a red, white, and blue colors. That's kind of cool instead of orange. And it has my name on it, embroidered. That's pretty great. I'll wear this everywhere. Just don't tell, uh, just don't tell Harley Davidson about this, please. Nobody point out this video to Harley Davidson. I also got a card here from uh, 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 Paul. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, Paul. Paul sent me a card. Um, I've been just kind of holding on to this stuff. I, I haven't really messed with anything I've gotten in the mail because I knew I was going to make a video, especially with the clock. And the other thing, on your birthday, savor the gift of a day just for you. Um, hey, forgot to give you birthday money. Oh yeah, and he sent me money too. Um, like real money. Like he also sent me this uh, pretend Monopoly money stuff. Um, you know, I'm not really into board games, Paul, but I appreciate it. <laughs> like what the hell did you do to this thing? That, that looks, wow. Okay, so, um, but yeah, also in here is uh, some happy birthday stickers. By the way, it's not my birthday. It's nowhere near my birthday, but I guess he's just making up for it, uh, you know, missing out on it, because that's something that's important to me is having my birthday celebrated when I'm in my 40s. Uh, Chase. <laughs> Chase Bank. Um, what, what would this be? Like a... Like a clear thingy, like a like a window sticker. I don't know. Um, someone in a bikini. All right, thanks, Paul. Uh, yeah, what the hell are you doing? Send me like what the hell, man? You're being creepy. That's creepy. Going around taking pictures of of people in bikinis at parks. From far away, look at the distance on this thing. This is not a friend of his. He's like way back there, snapping pictures. Paul, <laughs> you need to get some help. Uh, I thought this was a tampon, but <laughs> no, it's uh, it's Velcro. Unless it's a Velcro tampon, I don't know. I don't know much about tampons. I, I swear. All right, last thing is from somebody who wishes to remain anonymous. Uh, this is an instant replay soundboard machine. This is something that I guess radio stations used to use back in the day um, to do soundboards. So, so like, you know, soundboards, soundboard stuff. So there's a switch on the back. You turn it on. It does this amazing little boot up thing. Oh, wow, every five minutes that thing announces the time. And I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's a hard drive inside of this thing. I can hear it clicking to life. Making noises, clicking. Uh, you probably can't hear it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to look into uh, replacing the hard drive in this thing. Because this thing is like 15 years old, I guess. Uh, they don't, I guess radio stations don't use these anymore. This came from an actual radio station. So there, there's a bunch of crazy stuff in it. Um, but what's cool is, is like it lets you label things. Like I can select a bank of things and there's the snowplow show. 
There's the PLA call-in show, Caves and Tunnels, Royco Construction. And I just pick which one I want to do. I want to do the snowplow show, so that's number one. And um, I've already programmed this, uh, the, most of my soundboard into this thing, so... Ah, it's not very loud. Let's turn it up. Ah, let's turn it up some more. There we go. And it tells you what you're pushing. I, I got to figure out a way to label these things. Like, you know, I need little labels or pictures or something to show me which, which each of these do. Um, but like, we got the thing that I always label rim shot, and yes, I'm aware that's not really a rim shot, whatever, I don't care. Uh, we got the type, type, type. We got the dot matrix. successful trip to Brad's campus Oh, and so the really cool thing about this, like remember back in the day I had a, um, I, my, my soundboard was a, a MIDI keyboard and it was hooked up to a, a MacBook and I could rapidly do the sound effects. Like I could hang up on people and I would do this. I can do that again. It's like there's no delay. Um, like when I do it over here on this soundboard, which is what I've been using for years now. See, I push the button, it takes a minute, and then it takes a minute for it to, to complete. So look, push. <laughs> it takes like a half a second for it to happen, and I can't just rapidly push things. See, that's no fun. But like, when you remember in contests back in the phone show day, ding, 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 you win, you win. <laughs> so that, that's exciting. Um, Ocean Surf, that was built in there already. There's, there's a lot of stuff in here from whatever uh, radio show used it before. You've just been... Butt Slam! On the Turbo and the Butt Show! Butt Slam! <laughs> Butt Slam! Hey, ladies! Butt Slam! Butt Hey, Lamo! You just got full-on Butt Slam! So this is pretty great. Um, thank you, person who wishes to remain anonymous. There's the dial tone. There's the ringing phone. There's the busy signal, which I've never used before. The number you have reached has been changed to an unlisted number after being relentlessly harassed by the phone losers of America. So this is a recording.com. So playing operator is going to be so much more fun now with this thing. The finger you have used to dial are too fat. To obtain a special dialing wand, please mash the keypad with your palm now. We're sorry. This person is dead. Please hang up and give a moment of silence. Message PLA. You are receiving a call from an inmate at the Chili Pepper Correctional Facility in... That, that one's not mine. There's just a bunch of stuff in here. I mean, I gotta leave that in there. That's kind of fun. There's a bunch of just really annoying radio station stuff in here. You know, just stuff that you hear on, on radio shows, on wacky morning radio shows. Um, just like tons of Looney Tunes in this thing. I, I can't think how to um, scroll through things right now, or I would. Oh wait, no, that's, that's how to do it. Um, let's see, uh, type, type. Thank you, clock, for announcing the time every five minutes. Uh, yeah, like this, you know, just... <laughs> Thank you. Ah. Obnoxious laugh. That's not that obnoxious. Hawk and spit. <laughs> uh, I could just do that myself. Why do I need a soundboard for that? Um, yeah, I don't know. There's there's just like tons of Looney Tunes in here. God bless you. Keep hope alive. Be safe, Friday. Yes, we will win. So I love this thing. It's so great. It wouldn't fit on my desk properly because um, I just didn't have enough room on my desk. 
Uh, but I had all this space over here. So today I went out and I bought some shelving and I, I put, you know, I, I, I put this thing up. It's like, um, you know, flush with the desk and uh, now I can move my monitor over and I have this thing moved over and I have all this space here to use my mouse and to make videos of the clock. And um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the, uh, the new space over here. So uh, thank you person who wishes to remain anonymous for the soundboard that's just gonna make shows so much more fun so much more better than that thing no, no offense tablet soundboard that I've been using for the past five years but it's just slow it's it's like slow to respond and everything um, thank you for the clock Raj I love the clock um, I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out how to make it stop telling me the time every five minutes but other than that, it's a pretty awesome clock thing. Thanks for the hat, Richard. Thanks for the, uh, the birthday card and the, the creepy uh, pictures in a park, <laughs> Paul. And yeah, yeah, just thanks you guys for sending me things. Yeah.